Dr. Loth with Nebi Health, and today I'm going to show you uh, this exercise. It's our P3 exercise, a part of our posture program. Um, the two main components of this exercise are wall angels and cervical retractions. Um, with these exercises, the goal is to help to start to create more range of motion. And the first one that I'm going to have her show you here is the wall angels. So as you look at her, the first thing she's going to do is rotate her arms so they're back touching the wall. Now as she does this, she's going to start to raise those arms all the way up above her head. Now this can be quite challenging to do. The goal with this is to keep the shoulder blades against the wall and then allow those shoulders to move up through normal range. Now if you feel pain with this, like a sharp pain, a grabbing pain, you do not want to push through that. Um, a lot of times when there's pain there, there's underlying dysfunction in the joints, the tendons are getting impinged, among other things. So we highly recommend, of course, here at Nevi Health to get correct chiropractic adjustments to the spine and to the extremities and shoulders if necessary to help to free some of these restrictions um, when applicable. Uh, but as you see how Erica's moving through this motion, she's going up and down through those ranges. Um, the goal is, is to help to do a ballpark of start out with 10 of those at one time. And then you can move up and do more and more and more as it gets more comfortable and easy to move. Now, an alternative to this, some people have a hard time rotating their arms all the way back. So there's two alternatives. The one is, is you can do it straight arm. And as you see here, she's starting with her arms out to the side and doing the same thing but keeping her arms straight. The other alternative is to actually uh, put those arms in a bent position again but leave your hands out away from the wall and she can start to go up. Now, as this works, she can also change the angle of her hands and still try to reach up above her head in that position as long as she again doesn't feel any pain, but still keeping her shoulder blades against the wall. So that's the wall angel exercise. The next one she's going to show you is what's called cervical retraction. So simple concept, what she's going to do is use a towel, put it on the uh, back of her head against the wall, and she's going to again keep her shoulder blades against the wall, have her hands turned open, and then she's going to press into the wall with her head and neck contracting the muscles of the back of her neck. This is going to start to activate and strengthen the backside muscles of her neck. Now, what she can do with this is hold that contraction for five, seven, maybe even ten seconds and then relax. And then she's going to repeat that again. And then again, you want to work up to doing approximately ten repetitions uh, per set with that exercise. Now, you can also do that exercise laying on your, on your back on the ground. Um, and get the same kind of activation. Some people actually feel it better when they're laying on their back. And then one other way you can do those cervical retractions, which Eric will show us here, is on your stomach. Now, when you go into your stomach, the reason this one's a little bit better is because it actually helps you move through range of motion as well. So as she retracts that neck musculature, you can see how her head rises up slightly, and then she'll relax and let it back down, and then she'll raise it back up again and then relax and let it back down. So that's going to actually move your head a little bit further through range of motion by doing it uh, in that manner. Again, this exercise mobility uh, mechanism is to help to start to create more motion through the upper extremities um, and also to help to build a little bit of strength into that neck musculature. Now, as the exercises we've shown you before, the P1 and P2 exercises with the foot rubs ball and the stretches are super important. Once those start to kick in, then it's going to allow you to actually go through the ranges of motions with that specific wall angels exercise uh, to be able to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish with those exercises. So hopefully you can apply this to your routine and continue to improve more functionality and help your posture.